Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm back at the factory in Zongkai, in Wandong in China, and I'm just doing a bit of a brief outline on some high voltage batteries. Now these particular batteries are being manufactured at the moment and are destined for Australia, so I thought it was very relevant. And I'm just gonna run through the basics. So, this is, this, this is a battery module. There's four battery modules that go into this battery pack. One, two, three, four, and they all go in series. What's a little bit different to what we normally see with LFP storage is instead of having these yellow insulation plates between each cell, these ones actually have some high density foam and a big air gap. And what that's for is for the active cooling at the back there, the fans, to push air through the pack and between the cells, which the air conditioner in the cabinet can then deal with. So it's a air cooled unit rather than being a water cooled unit. So with 12 uh, per row, 48 in total, Per battery pack, you get 48 times 3.2 times 280 amp hours divided by 1,000, 43 kilowatt hours. Now this particular battery system will have five of them. So in total times five, we get 215 kilowatt hours. So a very energy dense battery system. A bit of a rundown on the way it works and safety. Inside each battery module is a BMU and they talk over CAN bus back to the BMS of a high voltage box. That's the BMU there. They have a fans at the back there you can see. It's a really well-built pack. You can see it's got lots of uh, insulation. It's really tightly in tension. It's, it's got a really nice uh, extruded aluminium or milled aluminium end plate on each side. This is the high voltage box. And so for a bit of safety, what's, what's different about these to a normal battery is a normal battery, well, normal as in an LFP, uh, like a 12 or a 51.2, normally has a BMS with charge and discharge MOSFETs protecting the terminals. These don't. So the terminals are always live and the only way to isolate them is to pull this MSD out. There's one per battery and the correct way to isolate them is to take them off load and then you remove the MSDs out of each battery. But that's one thing to be careful of because each battery is 153.6 volts giving you a nominal, nominal voltage of 768. So in the cabinet you've got five in series, it comes into the high voltage box, there's a fuse and a shunt for your coolant counting, so that gives you your, your state of charge, your percentage out of 100. There's a two pole breaker, and then there's a DC contact on the negative and two DC contactors on the positive, one for charge and one for discharge, not dissimilar to how a typical LFP BMS works. When it's running from 0% to 100%, you would see between 600 and 876 volts, representing 2.5 volts a cell and 3.65 volts a cell. From there, this high voltage box connects to your power conversion equipment and passes all that information back to it.